Roman. So today I'm going to go over how to use one of my most loved tools as an artist. Now you may know this tool as a math aid that you hope you never have to use again. But as an artist, it has proven very useful in aiding in symmetry and creating the foundation of many designs. Now, without further ado, we're going to do the We're going to introduce the compass. Let's give a round of applause. Cheers. <laughs> okay, selling this aside, as someone that has been known to obsess over very tiny details, a compass has helped me keep my sanity so much when I create. Whether it's working on trying to build something or designing, whatever it may be, if you need any specific style of size, this takes the guesswork out of any of those projects. Now, not only can you use the compass for making circles, it's a great tool for consistently rounding off corners in a design, making arcs, as well as laying the foundation for creating squares, rectangles, all of which I'll explain here in a bit. There are a couple of limitations to using this kind of compass. One being that it's not designed for large scale projects as it's made to handle a max of a six inch radius. As well as that there is a bit of a learning curve to know where to put the pressure of the compass to keep it from slipping midway through. So I wanna discuss with you a couple pieces of terminology before we really get into it that I'm gonna be referring to as I show you how to use this compass. First up, is this handle right here. It's not actually this part. This is a good grip to adjust where you need it to be. What it is not is not going to help you turn it as you're doing your project, because that's where you're gonna notice a lot of that slippage happening. Your handle is here at this top. It is a little knobby piece. that looks like a short little stick. So next you have the legs. One leg holds this little sharp needle right here. The other, it's going to hold your pencil. It also has the next part, the clamp, which is gonna open and close and it's gonna help keep that pencil in place. Next part, we're gonna go back to this needle right here. It's gonna be very sharp. You should be looking for a very pointed edge, almost like how you'd expect like, if like you're in Sleeping Beauty, don't touch the needle, okay? You're just gonna eye it and make sure that that needle looks plenty sharp. If it has a blunt end on it, it's not gonna stay in place as well for you as what you're gonna need it to be. The next part you're going to look at is you're gonna see this ruler right here. And this ruler will help guide with how big you want your circles to be. So before we use this compass, I suggest you get to know like the compass a little bit better. Get really comfortable with it and your specific one because there is no compass that's going to act exactly the same. And you might even want to, as you feel comfortable, mess around with your compass even as it gets older. Because the more you use the compass, the more it changes. And the more you want to make sure that you know how it's working. So first thing I suggest, feel it in your hand. Get an idea of what that weight is going to feel like. Literally just hold it in the palm of your hand. Now, I want you to also grab it from the handle. How does it feel? Try to make sure that you're just using and getting used to that handle. If you have a pencil in the way, figure out how to grasp it here while keeping that in place. You can twist it, hold it back here so you can spin it again the way you need it to be. Then I want you to take a look at your clamp, open, close it, open, close it. See how tight it gets. And if you might need to make any adjustments with making it tighter so nothing slips out of place. The next part, look at that ruler. Feel the resistance on here. The easier it is to glide, the harder it's gonna be to keep it in place when you're making your circle. So if you notice that it feels like it might move a little too easy, you might wanna consider either getting a different type of compass or even just figuring out how to tighten the yourself. So now that we have that part done, I want you to keep in mind the compass takes a little bit of time to work with. So don't get frustrated with yourself if when you're first using it, it slips a few times. You happen to put too much weight on it. Like even as somebody that's been using it for a while, there's a lot of habits that since I didn't start from the beginning doing it, 
that I still have a hard time not immediately remembering. So it's okay. Be lenient. Be kind with yourself. Ultimately, use this as a great learning experience. We are all learning and growing together here. And that's the whole goal of this. Let's explore these materials together. Okay. So we're now going to transition from our observation into action. Come join me. The first thing you will need to do is insert a standard size pencil into the clamp. You'll insert the pencil into the direction going away from the handle. So open the clamp, place the pencil in, and adjust until your pencil is even with where the needle is. If it is not even, you're going to keep adjusting and clamp it when it is at an even size. We notice right here, not even. Twist it back just a little bit and then Clamp it shut. You'll know your pencil is in the right place as this pencil tip will be even with the needle. Once there, make sure that your lever is completely closed to make sure that that pencil is nice and tight into that compass. Next, you're going to want to decide on how large you're gonna want your project to be for the circle, an arc, rectangle, rectangle, whatever it is. So look at your compass's ruler. The measurement on here tells you in math terms what the radius is gonna be. So if you want it to be at the one inch, what you're getting is from the middle, which I'm gonna put right here where I put that dot, to about the length about wherever that circle is gonna be all the way around. And it's only from that middle line over. It is not all the way across. So once you decide on how large you want that circle, place the needle right here, that part, in the center location. And you can hold this part right here as you get that. Move your hand to the handle so you can spin your compass. Now the trick to this you're only going to put the weight on the leg with the needle. You're not going to put it on the side with the compass. So make sure that your pencil is on the paper, but don't put the weight of this on the pencil. You want it to drag without having that extra weight on there. You're going to make your circle with your compass by spinning the handle. And make sure that, that weight stays on this handle the whole time because otherwise you're likely going to have the either needle shift over or you're going to have it to where your circle gets too big because the weight has moved and shifted to your pencil. So shift it to the other side, make sure you're holding your handle, and make a light circle. What some of the problems you might encounter is this might slip if you put too much weight on the pencil side, or it might adjust, like you might end up getting the wrong size completely because the leg is slipping out. So make sure it's just the needle point that you're putting on, that's really important. Now, if you would like to make an arc, all you have to do, choose your size and do about one and a half of the radius here. Grab your handle again and just shorten the amount, shorten the length how far you want to actually make it. You're going to notice you'll have different variations of arc sizes the further out you go. Now for a square, you're going to want to make four separate lines on here. So what you're going to do, find your center again and make a little line here, make a line at the top, at the bottom, until you have four separate spots. Okay, that's how you start the foundation of a square. Then you're going to go through your center point with a straight edge of any kind, and you go make a straight line all the way across on both ends right here. Find your center. Do the same thing on this side. 
And then you're gonna go over to your arc spaces. You're gonna create a line here and here and this way. And you're gonna wanna do this lightly so that way you can erase any of these extra lines. So I hope you found this video helpful in finding out more about your compass, how you use the compass, and ways that you might want to use it in your future projects. If you found this helpful, stick around. We'll be going over some other tools that you may run across on your creative journey. And we'll work through this together. So come with me. Arise. Let's go together.